Sup peeps, my name's Ian. I sell books on eBay. Uh, I've got about £350 of orders just to quickly show you what has gone out on Saturday and Sunday morning because it's now kind of midday on Sunday. Um, need to keep ahead of the packaging so I get this done now and then I can drop it off first thing tomorrow morning when I go and pick the rest of the orders that will need to go out tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a look at the orders and one other thing. One other thing that has arisen in the last couple of days that I just, I just want to mention, you know. But first, now these are not in a very good order. The stack of orders I've got, um, a lot of big bundles, so it's all a bit precarious. But hopefully, eep, if I can get that out of there, we can at least show you what we've got. So the first order, this is definitely one to be on the lookout for, uh, 65 quid these four little books have gone for and it's project 369 so it's all about manifestation so we've got the key to happiness the key to prosperity the key to the universe and a planner as well so project 369 keep an eye out 65 quid they have sold for so that's very nice indeed uh, yeah I'm going to somebody whose route seems to be relatively new to eBay. So there you go. Anyway, let's. I need to stack these in order now so when I come to pack them, life gets a little bit easier. So let's start a little pile down there. Right, next we have PJ Tracy, a mother and daughter writing team, I believe. And. The mother passed away a few years ago, so I don't think there's any new books coming out. But we've got three PJ Tracy books, hardcover, a couple of paperbacks, and those three sold for £10.99. Put them down there with Project 369. Right, big bundle. A pre-made bundle. Got a couple of them going out today. There's the first four. And the second four. So Game of Thrones plus A Night of the Seven Kingdoms. A wee eight book bundle and that sold for £32.99. So whenever I get a complete set of that, I just list them as such. And they usually sell relatively quickly. There's never too much of a delay in getting those out. Right, a wee single book. There's got to be some of them, hasn't there? Uh, Mick Heron, Real Tigers. Just been watching the new series of Slow Horses. Uh, can't even remember because it's four we're on to. So it would be the one after this, possibly. Maybe it's five, I don't know. But absolutely love it, it's brilliant. But that one has sold on its own for £6.76. Right. Another single book. This time it is down here there we go just got a couple of these the other day always sells well Cathy Glass helpless it's not big money but they do sell well so it's good to churn through them £4.5 p. got a hair in my mouth or something very unpleasant but it's gone now right next is a bundle of 40 40 yes Forty, fifty-three pounds ninety-nine. It's not books. I'll just move these to here, and then I can pick up this lot here. Forty DVDs, and every single one of them is Disney. So forty Disney DVDs, fifty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence. So it's buy five get five free. So it should have been a hundred quid plus postage, but. Basically, it's half price, so fifty three ninety nine for forty of those. Um, is that offer too generous? Buy five get five free. It might be, but as I pay pennies for my DVDs, it's a fantastic profit. Four quid maximum I've paid for all of those. An awful lot less, to be honest, because I got a good deal not long ago. Uh, so even at four pounds, turning it into a fifty pound sale. That's just great. So I'll scroll all the way to the bottom of that one. It's a good mix of Disney movies, uh, classic cartoons, the 
more modern ones, Pixar, the redos with live action, you know, you know the type. But anyway, that was a nice wee sale to get. Uh, next we've got two Bernard Cornwall, two hard covers, and the two of them went for £10.24, so we've got the Empty Throne and Warlord. £10.24, and that takes us on to the next one, which is another single, and it's another, I was going to say DVD, but it's not, it's a Blu-ray, sealed, new Blu-ray of Das Boot, uh, and that sold for £8.99 on its own, so if you're seeing, you know, sealed, brand new stuff, with the DVDs, Blu-rays, a lot of them aren't worth a lot of money, some of them just because they're new, it doubles the price, so it can make it worth picking them up. So keep your eyes peeled. Das Boot, £8.99. Then the first of these, two Ken Follett Folly books going out. First one is Folly Giants Hardcover. Lovely big chunky book that one, isn't it? Uh, it might even be a firsty, is it? Is that a firsty? It is, the first edition. I didn't sell it as such. It's just going as it is. Uh, £8.24 for that one. And let's just do the other Ken Folly whilst we're there because it's only a couple down the list. It is Fall of Giants paperback. Got a completely different buyer. £7.34 for that one. And then we can go back to the one that was in the middle of that, which is Harry Harrison. What have we got? We've got Death World 2, Death World 3, and Technicolor Time Machine, so a nice wee vintage sci-fi bundle, and the three of them have sold for £9.99. Right, the other thing I wanted to talk about, the changes eBay have made. So, I, say, I, I think it's a good thing, they want more customers, they want more buyers on their platform, uh, and one of the things they've said is they're going to provide a bit more support to business sellers. You know, keep the playing field as level as possible. So a part of that is false claims against you, which it, it doesn't happen very often, but every now and again, one pops up that's a bit irritating. So I'd sold a bundle of books. And they've gone to the buyer. The buyer's turned around, not liked them, and wanted to return them. So they've taken pictures of them and sent them to me, which is great, saying, sorry, these aren't suitable. Um, they haven't disputed in any other message to me that they weren't as described, but that's how they've opened the return. Um, I used to do free returns, but it's just, it's not economical. Too often, you end up having to go out and do your next five sales to cover the cost of a return that's come back in. This bundle cost nearly seven quid to post. It wasn't small. Because they've opened it as not as described, I've been charged another seven quid to get it back. So for a sale that was about £13, it's cost me £14 to send it and get it back because they've opened that erroneously. So I have raised that with eBay following their instructions and directions and I'm curious to see as to whether or not I will get a credit back for the, the postage to get it back. I need to take the hit on the postage it costs to send it out. It's really always annoying when that happens because basically you've got to bump the price up by that when you sell it again, otherwise there's not much point. Um, but if I'm having to pay for the return postage when it was exactly as described, and the great thing is they sent pictures of what I sent them, which is exactly what was described and pictured in the original thing. So all of that's passed on eBay, and we'll see whether or not I get a credit for that return postage cost, because I'm really not happy about that. That's where people take the mickey and uh, try and abuse the system intentionally or unintentionally I don't maybe they don't realize just what an impact they can have when somebody is a small business you know that's 14 quid down on that order that's several sales to make that money back and cover the cost of their uh, lack of understanding I won't say incompetence I'll just say lack of understanding so I'll keep an eye on that and uh, hopefully when I get some sort of resolution I will let you know if it has paid off. Anyway, another sale. £15.14 for five, count them, one, two, three, four, five 
Lisa Jewel books. Uh, I've got another one sat in the other room that I'd forgotten to pick up and add to this bundle before I came through and I can't be bothered walking through and getting it. It's a whole like 12 feet, so trust me, there's five of them. Uh, £15.14 for Lisa Jewel. Right. On to another one. Another bundle of DVDs. Uh, a lot more modest than that first haul. And they are under... They're under Tom and Clive. Let's move Tom to there. And then we can kind of pick Clive up one-handed and grab the Disney's. Just the five Disney DVDs this time. Uh, it always makes me a wee bit nervous when somebody does order just five. Are they expecting me to choose another five for them? Do they not read the description? Do they not check what the offer details are? But five of them, £11.49. Um, and I'll expect a message saying, where's my five free DVDs? And then I'll have to reply saying, have you not read the description? Uh, I used to message people beforehand and say, did you want five free as well? And they always just say yes and don't give me anything more than that. So it's down to them to get it right. Uh, next is another DVD. A bit of Red Dwarf. £4.14. Nothing spectacular, but it's a large letter. Easy to post, easy to list, and all these other things. Next is an author that I picked up, I think a stack of 20 odd, a few weeks ago. Um, got them listed and none have sold until today. But that tends to be the case. It always takes a wee while, and then once that listing's got a bit of momentum, you start seeing the odd sale from it. But Linda Fierstein, Stein, not an author I know or had heard of beforehand, but seems to be Patricia Cornwall-esque, and I'm only guessing that because that's who's leaving the cover comments. So five Linda Fierstein books. Fierstein, Fierstein, £12.99. pence. Right. What is next? Rankin. Pure Rankin, by the way. Ian Rankin, the Edinburgh author, three paperbacks, £9.69. So, a lot of bread and butter, as ever, in amongst all of this, with the odd wee bump seal, which makes a bit of a difference. Right, we've got to Clive. We moved him a minute ago, but we're finally back to him. And we've got three Clive Custler hardcovers. Uh, I think there's a couple of firsties in there. Yeah, there's, but actually all three of them are first editions, to be honest. Uh, one of them was listed as a first ed edition because it's a wee bit older. And thirteen ninety nine for the three Clive Custler books. And then on to another bundle. Six this time. Let's just pull them over from there. Yeah, there we go. Liz Pichon, Pichon, Pitchin, Tom Gates, and Shoe Wars in the middle. So six of those, $16.99. We do love Tom Gates. And kids' books, good chance of getting them cheaper than the normal ones, so definitely worth keeping your eyes open for. A bundle of ten. I see some big bundles today. We've got 10 Tom Clancy paperbacks, uh, not, not expensive books, very much that kind of bread and butter price, $21.99 for 10 of them. So as long as you're picking them up cheap, you can afford to sell them at that price all day long. Right, only a couple more orders to go. Pre-made bundle. Liz, what's her name? No, it's not Liz, it's Rochelle. Rochelle Mead. Vampire Academy, books one, two, and three. So Vampire Academy, Frostbite, and Shadow Kiss. And the three of them sold for $9.99. So a pre-made bundle. Followed by two singles to finish it. First one is Don Siegel, a Siegel film, with a introduction by Clint Eastwood, or foreword by Clint Eastwood. And that sold for a surprising £10.99. So uh, I looked it up, it very rarely sells for much less than that. So that's one to keep your eyes open for. I don't know why. Is it a discontinued print or what's going on with it? But £10.99 for that one. 
very happy with that. And our last sale of the day, which is not a book, is not even a DVD. It's a bit of Bob, Bob Marley CD. So in amongst all the DVDs that I got, there were a few dozen CDs and a few of them had a little bit of value. They were just good enough that they were worth chucking up, make a few pence on them, uh, £3.49 for that one. So it's a large letter. It goes post easy and uh, where's it going to? I recognise that postcode. No, I don't. Uh, so yeah, Bob Marley. Sun is shining CD for £3.49. So that is what 300 odd pounds worth of orders looks like. Uh, what was it, 350? Do 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 do. Let's get all the way back to the top and just make sure I'm telling you the real number. 35372. But. There's one book that sold since I went to pick all these up that's not included in what I've shown you, which went for like £4.25. So £349, £349 worth of orders. That's what it looks like. It's going to be a good half hour, 40 minutes, getting that lot packed up. Uh, maybe five minutes more than that because there's a couple of bigger lots that I'll need to put in boxes. So it just takes a couple of minutes to make up the boxes and get them in there. But that's a, a better day. Uh, quite a good a fairly average Saturday but the likes of the, the £65 the Project 369 that came in this morning so I've been able to include that and showing you what I've got which has given me a good start to today and yeah the rest made it up for a, a pretty average Saturday to be honest about £240-£250 so not spectacular but it's ticking along really nicely um, keep listing stuff keep selling stuff and things will just expand and bloom into the business I want it to be. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you tomorrow.